Hey everybody, this is yours truly, Marine Aqua 924, and this video will be about the top 11. The theme here is that idol going Motown here. Um, let's see. When I heard they were doing Motown, I'm like, wow, this is going to be real, real good, and I hope that everyone chose the right songs here. So, first was Casey, he sang her from the grapevine from Marvin Gaye. Like, singing Marvin Gaye is tough, because, like, he has, like, the upper registry that no one can do. And, Heard It From The Grapevine is one of my most favorite songs from him. And, the way that, um, that Casey did his hair was kind of cool. And, for his performance, like, so far he's doing it pretty good in good harmony, though. Um, <clears throat> the pitches were, were good, but he was a little bit off here, but... It was not that bad. So far, it was an okay performance. Um, Steven mentioned that Case is the perfect entertainer here. Um, like, he's like a recipe here. Like, perfect pitch and an out-of-control ego. I'm like, alright. And we, for both J.Lo and Randy, that he's an, an original artist here because there could be no one like like him and I agree on that but I, I wish his performances would do be be a whole lot better so like I thought it was an okay performance next was Thea she sang Heat Wave from Martha and the Vandellas um I love her outfit like the vocals were amazing for Thea this is an improvement from the uh, let's see from the top 12 performances um Again, I thought it was a pretty cute, um, and an amazing performance. So, like, for both Brandy and Steven, that they're both glad that she's taking some chances, like, for song choice-wise. So, I thought it was a cute and amazing performance. Next was Jacob. He sang You're All I Need to Get By from Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Um, I thought... <clears throat> I thought it was a pretty good performance. Um, there was one little problem though that I couldn't hear him that much because like I can hear the backup singers more than Jacob. Like, like he's doing too much low vo vocals here. Like I thought it was a pretty good performance. Um, just that I didn't feel it from Jacob, but I thought it was a pretty good performance. Um. Like, the judges liked, liked it, though, and I like the fact that Randy mentioned, like, what was wrong from that performance? Absolutely nothing. He loved it. Next was Lauren. She sang, You Keep Me Hanging On from the, uh, from the Supremes. Like, her dress was so pretty. I was like, wow, she's amazing here. And girl, she's got talent and style when she's singing this song. I love the performance. She did an amazing job here. All the judges loved it, and she did an amazing job with it. Next was Stefano. He sang "Hello" from from Lionel Richie. It was like, oh my god, one of my favorite songs from the Mr. Lionel Richie. <laughs> um, I thought he. It's the right song choice for him because it suits his style and his voice. Um, so far he's doing a pretty good job with the song. The long vocals were amazing and the pitches were perfect. This is my favorite song from him from Motown. So this is perfect. Let's see the let's see for both of the from all the judges they were mixed about it. Um Jayla mentioned that that it was, the vocals were fine, but he she wants to see she wants to feel Stefano's heart from breaking when when he sings. Like Randy mentioned, it was a lack of of emotion, and Steven mentioned that the the song was too big though. But but I thought it was the best performance from him. I liked it. Next was Haley. She sang "You Really Got a Hold on Me" from so. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Again, one of my favorite songs from Smokey Robinson. I feel like the contestants are doing a lot of my favorite songs here. <laughs> and Haley looked hot. And this is one hot performance of her. 
The vocals were amazing. The pitches were amazing from her. This was the best performance from her. And one of my favorite from her. I loved it. All the judges loved it, and it was perfect. Next was Scotty. He sang For Once in My Life from Stevie Wonder. Uh, it was an okay from Scotty. The vocals were good. The pitches were pretty good as well. Just didn't feel excited for me, so I just thought it was pretty good. And Randy mentioned that it wasn't his strong performance. And I agree. He needs to do a bit more better. So, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Next was <coughs> Pia. She sings All in Love, Love is Fair from Stevie Wonder. Um, she looks so beautiful. Again, she delivers an amazing performance. Vogels and pitches were amazing from her. She's a star on for Idol. I love her. But one thing that I like to see her do is doing different genres other than ballads. So again, it was the most beautiful performance. And let's see. Steven mentioned that she's the closest star in this American Idol universe. And I agree. Because she's got style, the voice. No one can be like her. Next was Paul. He sang Tracks on My Tears from Smokey Robinson. I remember that Adam Lambert was doing this from season 8. And he did a heck of a job with it. I like the fact that Paul did guitar for the performance. It was an okay performance. Didn't feel that excited for me. Next was Naima. She sang Dancing in the Street from Martha and the Vandellas. I love her outfit. The focus were amazing from her. This is a lot better from her top 12, top 12 performance. And the dance moment that she did, oh my god, I loved it. I love how she does it. She did a great job with this performance. I'm proud of her. That Steven mentioned that she has the whole package deal. And for the first time ever, JLo mentioned that it gave her goosebumps of that night. And Randy mentioned that Naima finally showed up. This is one great performance from Naima. Great job. Last but not least was James. He sang Living in the City from Steve Wonder on... Um, I love that song from Stevie Wonder. Um, this is a good choice, choice from James. I love the performance. Not my favorite though, but I liked it. Randy mentioned it started off a little rough, but, but he found his pocket, pocket there, and he made it through. And Stevie mentioned he nailed it. <laughs> Again, I thought it was a pretty good performance. Let's. The, the group numbers that they did, let's see, Ain't No Mountain High Enough from Marvin Gaye, uh, like, this is one amazing performance, like, Pia and Thea, they had the best high vocals, here, and so did James, um, one thing was a little weird, though, that Jacob, let's see, did a bit too, hang on one sec, And sorry about that. And as I was saying that when it was getting towards the end of the song, Jacob did a high vocal, which I didn't like it at all. So yeah, I thought it was a pretty good group, group number. And let's see. And Stevie Wonder did uh, an amazing performance of Sign, Seal, Delivered, I'm Yours. And... I was like, wow, that took me by surprise. He always does a, does a great performance. Um, they gave out a shout, shout out to Steven Tyler. And went, and also, that night was his birthday. And he sang Happy Birthday. They gave, let's see, the top 11 presented a portrait of him. And also a giant birthday cake. I was like, wow, that was amazing. I was like, woo! And let's see. Oh yeah, and when Ryan called out James and Paul, let's see. And they mentioned that James was like a big fan of of wrestling here. 
Let's see. And Paul and James getting at it. I'm like, like whoa. And Pia gets involved too with, let's see, with he, hitting one of them with the, with the pillows. <laughs> and there's one big surprise here that Hulk Hogan came out and, let's see, made his entrance and, along with the song, I the Tiger, Oh My God, My Faith Here, and mentions that there's good news and bad news. Good news is that James and Paul are safe and and the bad news is that well Ryan game punch in the face from, from the Hulk that was one crazy moment oh like wow all right intense here but it was kind of cool <laughs> and let's see and getting to the results here um the people that are safe are Pia Scotty, Lauren, Paul, James, Jacob, Naima, and Haley. So that means the bottom three are Casey, Stefano, and Thea. I was like, oh, I knew it was kind of, kind of coming here. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's see. And the guest performances for, let's see here. First was Sugarland. Um. It's just saying, suck like glue. Uh, it's, it felt kind of iffy for me. Um, but mostly, I didn't really care for it. And I, I mean, I love Sugarland here, but but most of their old stuff, like, let's see, Stay, that's my most favorite song from them. But for Suck Like Glue, eh. Let's see, next was, um, Jennifer Hudson singing, um, Where Are You At? Like, okay. I thought it was, a, I liked the song, though. It was, oh my god, it was so cool. I liked it. Let's see, and talking about the bottom three here, um, let's see, one of them is safe, and that person is Thea. I was like, yes! She's in. Let's see. Now it's down between Stefano and Casey. And who will that be? Uh, the person that is in danger is Casey. So that means Stefano, he's safe. So that means that the idol, that uh, the judges still have their safe and Casey singing, I don't need a doctor. Like, at first it was kind of fun, but... Which is w really crazy, though, that Randy stopped the band and from Casey from singing. Because, want to know what this means, guys? Um, that they're using their save on Casey. That was crazy here. And he was like, Casey was shocked here, and he was having little, little stomach issues, like he, he was about to throw up here, and, and he looked like he was about to faint here. And Casey didn't expect that the, they would use their, their safe early, and neither did I, um... And let's see, it was kind of funny though that Jayla mentioned to st stop from the antics and the growling here. Um, she mentioned that, let the people feel your soul. You deserve to stay here. So that means that the top 11 will be performing again, but there's a catch. That two people will be going home. So that's pretty much it. So that was one crazy night here. So this is Marie Nakua, 924. So see ya.